Hi guys, I am Isa, and today we're going to learn how to configure our three using bass scripting. So, anyways, so the first thing, so if you first log in, it should be something like this, except that there's no background. So, anyways, to open the terminal, you press super enter. So, so if you want to configure i3, we have to find where the config file is. So I'm just open a text editor. The config file is in your home folder. Oh, well, the config file is in your home folder slash dot config slash i3. And it's just what we call it config. I'm going to open it. So I'm going to open it with my text editor. So we can see all of these. So we can start changing them. So like the font. So we can change the font. So we'll just the current font. So I can tag this out. So I'm going to untag this out. I want to save it and, and then to reload i3 you press super shift r now the font here has changed now we don't have to we don't have any such any of these oh yeah and here is the mod key that we can either use mod 1 or mod 4 mod 1 is the alt key and mod 4 is the super or windows key So this one says extract no startup ID and I'm applet. And we just start this network manager applet. So here it says mod plus return. Return is the entry key. So extract i3 sensible terminal. So you could change the terminal and make it to whatever you want. And this one says kill focused window. So right now if I'm in the window, you press super shift Q. So I'm gonna change that to super Q. So this place it says start to D menu. So when you press so this is mod plus D. If if you press mod plus D, it's gonna open this D menu. Well but if we could also change the menu to whatever we want. So for me, I'm gonna use the Rofi menu. So to install that I to the Pac-Man SY Rofi. So Wolfie show. Let's see. Wolfie show D run. So now it shows all the applications. Notice your Wolfie launcher might look different because I've customized mine to look like this. But they should, but they should work the same way. And you also press Shift plus the arrow keys to switch between these categories. So there's always in here it says change focus. So mod plus J to focus live, mod plus K to focus down, mod plus L to focus up, and mod plus sub to focus right. So like if I open two terminals and press super left, we'll be able to move left and right and up and down. And also in here it says super sh mod shift left, down, up, and right. So you use that to move the windows. I'm press super shift up. And then get on the terminal and press super shift right. It's just, just going to move them. So, and here it says mod plus H is used to split the horizontal direction. So, if it's different. And one plus V to split the vertical direction. So right now, if I open a bunch of terminals, they're going to be horizontal. Well, but if I open the terminal and write super V, and then open another terminal, it's going to be vertical. And for write super H, it's going to split. So I can keep on doing that. And one plus F is full screen toggle. 
So full screen. I will open a bunch of terminals and press Mark plus F. It goes full screen. I press Mark plus F again to make it not be full screen. And here is a Mark plus S layout stacking. A bunch of terminals. So you Mark plus S. You want to see that it still exists now. And you can see the window title bars in here. It was a super down between them. And it looks like Mark plus W to go into the tab mode. So it's just the same thing that's a stacking mode, except that the tabs are horizontal instead of vertical. And you can press Mark plus E to get back to the normal mode. So here are the workspace names. So here's the workspace names. Change them like one www two dev three. So we'll just change them to whatever we want. But yeah, we'll change them to whatever we want as long as they have a number before them. So if I reload it, oh, so let me just close this thing in workspace one. It goes back to workspace one. It says one www. So always. So, you just need to report in here. So, the next thing we're going to talk about is the status command. So, right now, the status command is i3 status. So, I'm going to the status command like i3 blocks. But we're going to use one called Bumblebee status. So, to install, it's right pip install Bumblebee. Status. And then it should install. But then they haven't added it to the pass yet. I have to write slash dot local slash bin slash bumblebee status. And I'll show nothing. So if I open this, we can see all of these. So we have to write dash M to do modules. We're going to put time. So now the time module is there. I'm going to put date. So the date module is there. Let's look at memory. That's going to show how much memory it has. And also put CPU. I don't want CPU usage. And I could also put, I'm going to put uh, Pac-Man, because I'm using the Pac-Man package manager, I use Pac-Man to match updates. So it's just going to show how much updates there are. So, so anyways, I could also add more modules, but we're going to, we're going to do those later. So anyways. What I'm going to do is the seam. I'm going to say seam. Or the dot dash T. So we have to write the seam. So I'm just open my web browser. So, um. So, if I open up Bumblebee status documentation and go to this list of available seams page it shows all the available seams so I'm going to use this north dash power line seam so this is a t dash t north dash power line just put nord power line and if I reload it you can see that the seam of this has changed So you can change it. You can say just use anything you want. Yeah, we can also add two more modules called pass sync and pass source. So it shows the audio volume and the microphone volume as well. So it means now to execute programs. Write exec and the name of the program. So I got something like nitrogen restore. 
but I mean, you're gonna have to log in and log out for a change just to take effect. I'm just gonna run it manually. Not a background. No, it has a background. So, anyways, now I'm just gonna show you an existing configuration of it. So, let me just. So I'm just gonna open my file manager. I want to go into slash doc config slash i3 and. So this is just an existing configuration of i3. So, so let me show you what's inside this configuration. So, the main things I want to show you are in the bar. So arrows position top. To move the bar to the top, and it also changes the colors. So I said focus the workspace, and you want to put some colors here for the borders, the background, and the text. So now this is the focus workspace, and the inactive workspace. So the border, background, and text again. So these are the inactive workspace, and this is the client focused, client unfocused, and so clients. So I just want to change the border. The window borders because I put default border pixel 2. So I removed those window title bars and made the default border to be, I made the default border to be uh, two pixels. So I changed, so I changed this. I changed the colors now, so the border color has changed. And I also added some key bindings. Oh, that's more key buttons. Also means it to start nature you generally store it when it starts. So like mod plus F1 is gonna start Q browser and mod plus F2 is gonna start PC man if I'm just my file manager. So um yeah, that's just so so that's all for this tutorial. If you enjoyed, leave like and subscribe. So bye!